Hey there, Space Cadets. Let's talk about staying connected. We use our phones and computers to talk to people far away. But how do those messages travel? Two amazing technologies make it possible. GSM towers and Starlink satellites. You know those tall towers you see around town? Those are GSM towers and they're like the backbone of our mobile phone system. But high above Earth, a whole constellation of Starlink satellites is beaming down internet access. They orbit our planet, sending signals back and forth. Both technologies are pretty incredible, wouldn't you say? Let's learn more. OK, picture this. You're calling your best friend. When you hit that call button, your phone sends a signal. This signal doesn't go directly to your friend, though. It travels to the nearest GSM tower. The tower is like a relay station. It receives your signal and figures out where to send it next. It might pass the signal along to another tower or maybe directly to your friend's phone if they're close by. GSM towers are connected to each other with fiber optic cables. These cables use light to transmit information super fast. That's how your voice or a text message can travel across town or even across the country. Pretty neat, right? These towers are essential for mobile phone service and data in many areas. Now let's zoom way out into space. Starlink is like having thousands of mini cell towers floating above us. These satellites are much closer to Earth than traditional satellites, so the signal travels faster. When you use Starlink Internet, your device sends signals up to a satellite. The satellite then relays that signal to another satellite and so on until it reaches a ground station here on Earth. This ground station is connected to the Internet, so that's how you can browse websites or stream videos. Starlink aims to provide internet access to even the most remote corners of our planet. It's like having a giant web of connectivity in space, beaming information down to us. So, which technology is better, GSM towers or Starlink? Well, each has its own strengths and weaknesses. GSM towers are great for densely populated areas. They can handle a lot of traffic, like when everyone's using their phones at a concert. However, building towers can be expensive and they don't work so well in remote areas where there aren't many people. Starlink, on the other hand, can reach almost anywhere on Earth. This makes it a game changer for rural communities and places without reliable internet. However, Starlink can be affected by weather like heavy rain or snow, which can disrupt the signal. In the future, it's likely that both technologies will continue to play important roles. We might even see them working together to create an even more connected world. Remember, whether it's signals bouncing from towers or beaming down from space, it's all about connecting us and sharing information, and that's pretty amazing.